So we start with loading up uh, CMS Pro. Now CMS Pro, uh, the default password is in the uh, use menu. So if we log in. Okay, first of all, you'll see that uh, my screen looks like this. Uh, there's no servers, so no, CM uh, no um, DVRs have been uh, enabled into the software. And if I was to have a look at the default view, so when you first turn on CMS Pro, you'd see a screen like this. I've changed mine a little, um, just so that I can make the camera sizes on my screen a little bit bigger. As you can see, it sort of gives it a bit better uh, presentation, a bit bit easier to view as well. So the very first thing we need to do is set up a DVR. To do this, we click on Setup, Local Setup, uh, Device Connection List. If we go down to New, um, look, we can do it manually by putting in all the um, uh, details of the uh, of the DVR. So if we just go DVR. You know, one nine two one six eight one dot four. I think is my IP. Now the default um, command port is five nine two zero, and the video stream port is five nine two one. Again, uh, put in your password, which is exactly the same as what's on the DVR. So that needs to uh, line up. Now. If you want pop-up screens to appear on your um, on your CMS, not inside your DVR, but on your CMS screen, you can do that as well. So, event pop-up window is here. We'll do that later on. Now, the other way of uh, finding out what uh, DVRs are on your um, on your LAN is you can go here. Once you do a scan device, you can just click up there, add device, bingo, you're done. So that'll just change that back. And we're away. All right, now our DVR is up here. So if we were to close the program down, open it back up, we'd have all of our DVRs listed here. So we first of all need to connect. Now that goes out, uh, grabs the uh, video off the DVR, and up she comes. Now one of the things you'll notice is it's very fast. Um, and if we click on a camera, it brings it up full screen. And once it uh, enables video streaming again, you'll see how fast that is. Now this is over a Wi-Fi network as well, so um, I'm really happy with uh, getting a nice full uh, 1080p signal there. And have a look at the um, the streaming uh, speed. It's it's really good. And of course you've got the definition there as well. So, um, a nice system this. So if I go back to full screen view, I might change that in a second once they come up. Easy. So, what does CMS do? Well, first of all, we can go full screen. So if you just want to put that up on, say, a uh, monitor up on the wall, um, you know, uh, that's what you would do. Uh, nice and easy. Now if we had an event, so let's say we had a motion event set up, um, that would also pop up full screen. So uh, to let you know that there is a, an event happening. we we'll just go back to our previous screen. Nice and easy to see. You can see some of the information displayed coming out of the DVR as well. Obviously it's only a four channel set up and if motion events or any of those sort of things start happening they'll pop up in in this little window here as well to let you know that there's a, an event uh, network connection so it says that there's one network connection there as well if you had say two CMS programs running or say a, um, outs uh, a person outside of this CMS software logged in via Internet Explorer anything like that it would come up with two there or three or, or whatever it can uh, can run with now um, probably the other thing that I really like about this is if we go to right click on your mouse uh, you can auto sequence of course the instant playback feature now quite often when we say instant playback so if you wanted to go uh, say three minutes back you know is a normal time there 
click over here if we set it up at the moment default it's set to three minutes so let's say you you know there's an incident somebody gives you a call or, or you see it on your monitor you can come back here and you can say okay well the incident's around three minutes ago five minutes one hour whatever it is set it up there so for this exercise we'll just look at uh, leaving it as uh, default three minutes so what does instant playback do instantly plays back now it's that quick this is across the uh, across the land of course um, so if we look at this screen what uh, the information does it give you as you can see it's the same size as that and we saw that car go past then so if we just pause on that for a moment and we go back a little while press play we hunt down the time that that car goes past a few seconds time okay so 1401 you found your time what say we wanted to see that in a larger view we just drag it across there so let's go back to what on 14 seconds Let's just play that back. We know it's coming up to right on 14. And there we go. It's pretty straightforward to nail an incident just in this. But again, what does that give you? So we can go full screen on, which will open it up to whatever you've got those uh, the video windows set to. Um, or it'll take it back to where we were previously so if we were there full screen on we'll open it right up capture image because at the end of the day that's what you want to do so once we've saved it it's automatically saved it um, we can show the image print the image but if we just close this window now that image is saved onto your computer hard drive. Very simple, very, very straightforward. So let's just close this playback window and we'll get into some more sophisticated playback in a moment. Alright, what else have we got? PDZ control. So if we had a PDZ camera uh, set up uh, on one of these, we could just go in and you can bring up the PDZ control and, cr and control that PDZ very very straightforward capture and print screen so that's a nice feature in itself so if we just wanted to we saw something happening live and we wanted a really quick snap we can do that as well bang capture print screen and you'll notice that whichever camera you're on is whatever camera it captures what else does it do? Audio on and off, mic on and off, so you can get, do two-way audio out to your DVR. Uh, instant recording, so obviously if um, you uh, wanted to send a um, uh, some live recording, so what you're seeing now, you wanted to record that onto your computer, you just press start recording. Very, very, very straightforward. Display options, Okay, so if we just turn that off, you'll notice that the time date, nothing uh, nothing to write home about. But it's a nice little feature if you uh, need it. Okay, that's pretty much all for live viewing. Just really straightforward. Um, and it gives you all of this sort of messages here. Um, if we update the log that has all of the events as it happens from the DVR
and because we don't have any alarm events set up inside the DVR there are no alarm events uh, coming through what else do we have here um, that's a bit